वेलकम टू द प्रोजेक्ट डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ सोलर आउटडोर एयर प्यूरीफायर एंड एयर क्वालिटी मॉनिटरिंग सिस्टम बाय यूजिंग आईओटी एंड आर्डिनो यूनो सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू मॉनिटर द टू पैरामीटर्स फ्रॉम दिस टू सेंसर्स वन इज एम क्यू वन थर्टी फाइव एंड अदर इज एम क्यू सिक्स सो एम क्यू सिक्स इज एल पी जी गैस सेंसर विच विल मेजर द गैस क्वान्टिटी इन पी पी एम एंड द नेक्स्ट एयर क्वालिटी इन पी पी एम सो दिस टू कंटिन्यूसली डिस्प्लेड ऑन द सिक्सटीन बाई टू एल सी एल सी डी स्क्रीन and the same data will be uploaded to the thingspeak cloud platform so thingspeak we can see the how the air quality uh, was increasing the abnormalities so just log into the thingspeak cloud platform and see the air purifier so there we get the two datas so one is mq uh, air quality mq 135 and gas ppm data uh, details now so coming to the interfacing connections we have interface these sensors so mq6 is for a0 a0 and mq135 uh, is for uh, a1 pin and a continuously display of this data on the 16 by 2 lcd screen which was connected pin number 22 pin number 7 and the next uh, pin number 8 and 9 for the esp8266 wifi module and uh, the relay whenever the abnormality detected coming to the abnormality uh, data so whenever the air quality is above 120 ppm and the gas is above 100 ppm then automatically this relay will get switched on which was connected the pin number 10th and uh, this is the breadboard so this board is the breadboard to distribute the 5 volts power supply throughout the input and output modules in our project so here when the abnormal detected automatically air purifier which we have developed in this one will be getting switched on and it stay on only till uh, you need to reset the arduino you know it will keep on on state only and the whole system getting power supply from this 12 volt 1 amp battery which is rechargeable and here we have the multi uh, two sources to recharge the battery one is from the solar panel so our project is mainly work on the solar panel only and uh, so when we are demonstrating the project connect the s solar panel with the t or s slots and uh, now when you keep the solar panel under the sunlight then the system will get in the power supply from the solar panel and to be uh, stored in the 12 volt 1 amp battery so come into this battery pack so it has a 3 4 volt 1 amp batteries are in series so we will get 12 volt 1 amp dc output so the operating voltage of our whole system is 5 volt only so for that purpose we need to regulate that 12 volts dc to 5 volts dc with help of this lm2596 voltage regulator so here whenever the sunlight is not available to charge a battery just connect this transformer output at this t slot by disconnecting the solar panel and next connect the transformer and on the power supply to this transformer so either you charge a battery with help of transformer or solar panel so the time to charge this battery is 6 hours minimum 8 hours maximum after that automatically this charging circuit will block the current flow to protect the battery from overcharging so keep the battery uh, charging full before demonstration of the project that's very important as we having the high power consumption modules two sensors along with esp8266 which will consume the more power so if is there any abnormal detected on the lcd or skip restarting then you should take care of the battery is low charging and you should keep on charging one so while final project demonstration disconnect the transformer and connect the solar panel over there and the next step is on the hotspot to uh, enable the wifi module to send the data to the thingspeak so for that go to hotspot settings of your phone and uh, change the hotspot name to right change the hotspot name to project Double five six five password one two three four five six seven eight nine and AP band should be two point four gigahertz. After these settings successfully done on the hotspots along with the data and log into the ThingSpeak cloud platform. So here uh, these are the previous data uh, we have collected while testing. So in order to uh, get the live data, you can erase this. But my suggestion is to erase this data before uh, erasing that. Go to download uh, download the data. for the data import export section and next download that so it will get open in excel sheet so we can see the data in like uh, date and time and uh, how many samples still now collected so right date and time how many samples still now collected field 1 is the gas and field 2 is the air quality ppm values right now after you got the backup now go to channel settings and do clear channel 
only clear channel and then go to private view so only do these settings only don't touch any other things uh, if you do any other malfunctioning things then the system won't respond properly so channel settings clear channel data import export download that and private view to access the live data so now you can see the old data got erased now while scrolling also better to scroll like this not on the blue bar okay so it on the hotspot successfully done now on the power supply to the kit this is the on off switch okay so below above is the on below is the off so switch on the power supply now wait for the welcome message to be displayed on the lcd screen completion of this message then the system will display the ppm values right now we are getting the ppm values gas as well as air so wait till the system has to settle down because the initially the system now need to heat up the sensor modules once the sensor module heat up successfully then you will get the proper values right okay now you can see one device is connected in your hotspot settings so one device is connected now you will get the data so the data will be uploaded to the thingspeak cloud platform for every 15 seconds of duration so now let us provide the input for the gas so wait till one sample is to be uh, plotted right we got the one sample over there right now so i provide the gas input to this right it's crossed and automatically it will get switched on now just reset this for off that and let us check the smoke input also Let us provide the smoke input to this. So you can see the, how the air purifier is. Take the air, right? You can take that. You can see it's taking the air from the top. It filter that. Now it is normal again. See you now how it takes such. Right, and reset as we can see the data was successfully applied to that. Right now, we can see the samples is collected when the system was normal.